Every new government that takes over the affairs of a state can only hope that the past government hands over a state that is financially stable without having outstanding debts to settle. Governor Ademola Adeleke of Oshun has his work cut out for him as he has revealed the financial health of the state, saying Oshun was indebted to the tune of 407.32 billion naira. Adeleke, who revealed the state's debt, said not one cobble of this loan was left in government coffers when he and his deputy governor, Prince Kola Adewosi, resumed work on the 29th of November 2022. And there was no explanation on how the loan was expended. Reacting to his claims, Ismail Omikpidon, who is the media aide to the immediate past Oshun governor, Adegbo Egaoyetola, reiterated that his principal never took any bank facility for the four years he served as governor. However, the former Oshun state governor, Rauf Aregweshola, said his administration was free of debt when he left office in 2018. Joining us on the show this morning to discuss the financial situation in Oshun state is Kolakpo Alimi, former Oshun State Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Sainty Affairs, a former member of Governor Aribe Shola's cabinet and presently a member of Governor Adeleke's team. Welcome to the morning show. Good morning, uh, our listeners and uh, viewers are too. Good morning, uh, the presenter and the anchor. Well, Mr. Kola um very quickly, your group is claiming that uh, there is so much debt uh, left behind in the coffers of Russian state government. But uh, as the introduction indicated, Mr. Omikino has uh, reiterated the position of uh, Governor Yetola that he never took any loan facility and that in fact he paid 97 billion naira out of the debt that he met you know, when he assumed office as governor. And he's now challenging the Adeleke administration to publish the debt that, uh, you know, the Adeleke camp is talking about and the dates of the procurement of the debts. Because their argument is that any debt at all was incurred by the Aregbe Shola, Raouf Aregbe Shola administration. What do you say to all of this? Well, thank you very much. Uh, what the, the issue is not a, a far-fetched. The figure don't lie. Uh, the figure ruled out by Governor Adeliki was actually supplied by the Accountant General of the States. The said Accountant General was uh, the one who worked with a uh, uh, former Governor Wig, uh, who told her when he was in office. The accountant general was appointed by him and he worked for him for about uh, one and a half years before his uh, exit. And so what the what Governor Adeliki did was to ask the accountant general to provide the figure, uh, which uh, the accountant general did. And when you look at the figure, they were the, the figure was very specific. Item by item, about item by about uh, nine items altogether with uh, the loan outstanding <coughs> and uh, when it will be uh, liquidated. However, in the, in the UV, the former commissioner for finance under uh, Governor Itola, uh, Mr. Emiji, in his attempt to dispute uh, that law, came out with his own figure. But when you made the figure, the items uh, we came up with, we discovered that uh, only two or three are uh, only in common with that of uh, the governor supplied by the accountant general. What does that connote? And those are the, 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 the three have huh? the issue of uh, these uh, federal government bonds and uh, one of the items. It means the former commissioner for finance actually silent on certain area raised by Governor Deliki. And they have claimed they have never obtained any loan. The, the former commissioner also went ahead to list some loans that has been liquidated, like a Sukuk bond has been liquidated. 
like uh, the 30 billion naira loans. The school bond happened to be 11 point something billion. It has been liquidated. The 30 billion naira loan has been liquidated. And when you equally observe the claim of a governor Italy administration that they pay about 96 billion naira out of the debt, out of what? The first issue is that did the governor Itola address the state about the true financial situation of the state when he has in power? After all, he was the chief of staff to the immediate past administration, so the figure should not be strange to him. So he didn't do that one because he, has a, he, he had an intention. The focus of his administration was actually to continue to rubbish his predecessor. And so he did so many things in secrecy. And uh, true to, his, uh, to their attitude and character, when the last administration lost the election in July 16, and the new administration set up a transition committee, the administration of Governor Uyutola refused to cooperate to, to set up a transition committee. Uh, assuming, uh, had it been this transition committee uh, was actually set up by the last administration, this, all this figure will have been uh, harmonized. And so as it is today, uh, the figure rolled out by the governor based on the figure supplied to the governor by the accountant general is what people should believe. At the same time, gradually, the, the last administration of uh, Governor Itola is coming up. They have actually agreed that they took a uh, $18 billion bridge financing from the federal government. It is a loan. What they have not told the entire state now is what they did with that 18 billion naira. They claim that uh, contrary to what Governor Adeliki said, that it was not obtained after the election, but that it was a 33 billion naira every month for six months. Whether it is 33 billion naira every, uh, every month for six months, or, is, it, 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 is, or it was uh, just uh, 18 billion naira to go, there is nothing to show for it here in this state. And so, the, 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 the real problem now is that uh, Governor Oyetola, he wants to present himself to the, he has actually presented himself to the uh, people of Osho State that uh, he, are, he are on the administration without uh, obtaining uh, any loan. We are asked the fact on ground uh, point to the contrary. So that is the issue. As, as far as uh, when Arag Gosola was there, he didn't hide the, 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 the fact that he obtained loans and uh, what he spent the loan on. And so it is quite different from somebody who was uh, actually pretending to the whole world that he didn't obtain loan. And so many loan underground has been obtained. And as time goes on, people will know and understand that uh, the administration of uh, Governor Itola uh, uh, is not being sincere with the state. All right, thank you for detailing your facts this morning, Mr. Alimi. However, I'd like you to also respond to the APC rejoinder uh, coming from its acting um, chairman in the state, Mr. Tajul Lawal. What Mr. Lawal, ha Lawal has said is that these accusations, what he has called accusations by um, Governor Adeleke to his predecessor are unfounded and diversionary. That's the part I'd like you to focus on that he's saying that he's coming out with these um, allegations or these accusations because he, he's not prepared to govern the state and he's using these as diversionary tactics rather than facing the issues. I'd like you to respond to these comments. Well, thank you very much. You know, the APC, the, 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 the people there now, I, I used to say they have to search their conscience very well. Uh, Governor Deleke, uh, I told you, set up a transfer committee the outgoing government, uh, the government refused to cooperate. If, if they have cooperated, it will have been sorted out. Because they, they did not cooperate, he needs to know the state of finance of the state. And when he was brief about the debt, he went to the traditional order to brief them. What is the fashionary in that one? If you, if you are in a place, before you start a new team, you have to know where you are. Before you say, this is where we are, this is where we are going. That was uh, what uh, Governor Yutola didn't do that caused all this uh, ula balu because he was enjoying it to tell the whole world that Arabi Sola incurred this debt and so on and so forth. Let me tell you, Governor Adeke is focused and he will deliver on his promises. All the loopholes uh, will be blocked 
Look at it these days. It has set up a lot of committees to review most of the activities uh, used as line mine set for this coming administration by Governor Itala. For example, on the twilight of that administration after losing the election, he had uh, he, 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 he organized a local government election in, in flagrant disobedience to the electoral heart. He went ahead installing furious, tri tri furious orbits in the state without uh, actually following the, uh, the, the, the causing, causing panic and riots in the, in the entire state. He, he went on to recruit, uh, carry out a lot of uh, recruitment. Uh, now you see such a person, uh, and you, 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 you take government uh, from, from, if you took government from such a person, why are you not going to look at what has uh, happened? Because if you, if you just, if you just move on with the line mines, and then, then people blame you. Okay. And so Adelaide, it's not the, the personality. Okay. It's only trying to make sure that I clear the mess uh, that has been created by Governor okay. Uyutola. Okay. So as for him to be able to move uh, forward a uh, uh, very well, fantastically well. Okay, <clears throat> Mr. Alimi, just to set the record straight, you serve in Arengbe last government. And there's a lot of thank you very much. Sir. There, there's a lot of concerns about you too, because when you headed local government, the local government was comatose, workers were not being paid, and it was in a shambolic state. But all these debts, based on the reporter that are giving, were all a regular debts. The state bond of thirty billion at fourteen point seven five started in September twenty fourteen. Sukuk bond of eleven billion at fourteen point seven five started in May twenty thirteen. FG bond of 86 billion was in August 2015 at 14.83%. Salary bailout of 25 billion at 9% started in September 2015. FG facility support of 17 billion at 9% started in July 2016. FG special intervention fund of 4 billion interest free was assessed in 2017. All right, secure term loan of 10 billion at 9% was accessed in February 2016. Central Bank of Nigeria, 5 billion, that started in June 2017. All of this, who was governor when all these debts were collected? Was Harry well, Thank you very much. Before, before I answer your question, who was the governor? Uh, let me have a correct one impression, which they have been parroting around. When I was the commissioner for local government chieftaincy affairs in Oshon, I go and check the record very well. Uh, it was during that period that uh, we constructed the uh, ten kilometers of roads. We, we nicknamed we nickname it ten kilometers for of roads uh, in, across the states, and uh, you could discover that uh, this was done during the first time. The, so many people petitioned us. CFCC came. They check that we perform creditably well. In fact, we are given the kudos that no government in the history of this state or even elsewhere has carried out such projects successively. And during the second time, we created additional CDA. We set up the government. They built their secretariat and so on and so forth. Go and check. Just just don't uh, follow the, the, the chorus of uh, uh, many people that uh, just to blackmail. And I used to say it, if the way they are saying we have performed so bad, I like to happen to be the only government in the United States so far that have succeeded in getting second term without rigging an, a, a, an election. And so all these things are just fallacy. Now coming back to your, your question, you roll out the figure. When you see what you have rolled out, it, 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 you, are, you are confirmed what Yuba Miji said. Now you can now first and foremost, I challenge you, Compare that figure, the items, with the one rolled out with, uh, by, by Governor Adeliki. You will discover that some items mentioned by Governor Adeliki uh, are not in the one uh, rolled out by uh, former Commissioner of Ibamiji. And from what, what former Commissioner of Ibamiji rolled out, you can ask him, the Sukuk bond, 11 point something billionaire, has been fully liquidated. Go and check, go ask him. The 30 billion naira bond has been fully liquidated. How come he's still mentioning them? Even though Arabia Solar obtained those loans, he started paying them, and those loans have been fully liquidated. 
The Sukuk bond was actually used to build 11, 11 mega schools. All the schools you could see, you understand it? The 30 billion naira bond, you see, just check it. You see the, well, if you have been to a school and you are coming from Ibadan, you will see the interchange. I didn't say I can do interchange. You will see the rules that are used for it. So what I want to bring out is that when you now sum up all these loans, sir, had it 30 billion naira uh, plus uh, 11 billion, let us forget whether they have been just fully liquidated or not. That gives you almost a uh, 40 something billion plus almost 80 something billion, which you mentioned. That will give you about 120 something billion. You mentioned 117, 150. When you had everything together, was it up to 200 billion there? And uh, Governor Delicke is talking 100 billion there, my brother. So when you see, when you see such people, ask them questions. And when you now go, go further in the report of uh, 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 Alaji Ibamiji, you will see where he stated that uh, they left uh, 14 billion there cash. When you interrogate that one, they quoted about uh, about 13 accounts. If all of all discover, ask a question that in this era of, assuming what he's saying is correct, in this era of uh, TSC, is it uh, even LD for a state to be operating about 13 accounts? But let me tell you simply, simply that what he has quoted is not correct. When you now interrogate the figures, you will see where he mentioned the uh, 2 billion era sinking loan for the credit agency. When you see that 2 billion era for the credit agency, that money has been there since Alec Besola. That is the money that our credit agency are using to give a, a small, small loans to the artisans. That money is already expended by government. The money belongs to the government, but the money is attached to program. Then when you see, interrogate that one further, sir, you will see where he mentioned about 200 million plus, oh boss money. That money has been there since Alec Besola era. And the money is an agreement is in the Greek sector for those uh, broilers, the each, 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 uh, each, each operator, farmers in that uh, project, usually you, they, use, they are usually given a uh, 2 million naira. They are, they are, they is, they are, that account is domicile in Stalin Bank. Stalin. And that, that has been there since. Now the point I'm, say, I'm raising is that they, they had that one. So what they have gone to do is that, apart from the allocation that came in uh, uh, October, the allocation, uh, October allocation that came in November, the, 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 which is about three point something billion naira, all other money which they have actually raised. So I can again address that one better. I can cite two of them which I've mentioned, two billion naira credit agency and that of Ubos. Mr. They Alime. are project money. Yes, sir. Mr. Alime, we're, we're, we're beginning to run. Yeah, yeah, now. I'm listening to you. But let me draw your attention to okay. that, to the fact that this same Mr. Oyebamiji <clears throat> that you have been quoting, are you aware that the same Mr. Oyebamiji put out a statement titled, The Fallacy of Half Truth by Governor Ademola Adeleke, the true position of Oshun Finances under Governor Adeboyega Oyetola Part 1. Well, all those details mentioned by uh, Rufai are in that uh, document, but he ended in his last paragraph by saying, Consequently, it is important to remind the administration of Governor Ademola Adeleke that public finance remains public. No amount of effort to deliberately circumvent fact can change what is publicly available. Okay? The government of Governor David Oyetola promised to run a transparent government, and he did until the last day in office. So he goes on, and he signed it. Bola Oyebamiji, FCIB, former commissioner for finance, Oshun State, 15th December 2022. Now, he also went further to publish what he calls breakdown of Oshun government balances as at November 26, 2022. So the question, th this is the position of Oye Bamiji. I hope all the things you have said about him, I hope he will not uh, take you to task or sue you for uh, libeling him, lying in his name. Then you add that to Omikwidon, whom I quoted earlier on, saying that why can't the governor Adeleke publish his own record of finances? The accounts have been frozen, but the government has been there since. They're spending money. Which money is your administration spending? These are the issues. Well, well, let me thank you very much. Let me challenge uh, Mr. Ibamiji that uh, to sue me, I'm quoting from his figure now. Thank you. Look at the figure 
I'm coming back back to the to to, to that of uh, the CPS. Look at the figure under the 14 billion naira, sir. You will see 200 million naira plus sinking fund for OBOS. Take it, you will see it. That money is a project money that has been just directed by Solar. That money is no longer available for the government to spend. That is mischief. You will quickly see, that's what I said earlier, you quickly see about 2 billion naira credit agency sinking fund. That money has been there as direct best Allah. That money is no longer available for the government to spend. So if Oyebamji could now come out to hand all the money on the on, on various programs the government has, has considered expended and, and call it as cash, it means it's mischief. Let me give you an instance. It's like it's like somebody going to the there is a loans board in the state. It's like somebody going to the account of the loans board and informing the whole world that this is the total amount they have that they have left it. Depending Over the years, the money has been there and it is revolving. So all those kind of money are no longer available. It is it is a mischief. Now coming back to what uh, the money the, the Governor Delga has been spending. I can tell you authoritatively that Governor Delga has not spent a dime penny of the of, of our state government money. He has been spending his personal money. Apart from the payment of salary, he has not assessed any cobo. And all the committee set up, sir. Nobody has been given any cover. People are, people are just working on their home. So it is it is quite unfortunate that uh, just because uh, CPS only people thought it is business as usual, you know, how they used to spend money, that that's how Adelike is spending it. No, it is not true. And so let me tell you, Clearco, that the government will equally respond to Alajo Ibamiji in clear terms for you to know. And when you want to look at it, I've challenged you now. Compare the figure you roll out and ask him, whether Suku bond has not been liquidated. Ask him too whether the 30 billion uh, bond uh, has not been liquidated. All this money has been liquidated, but he's still rolling them out to justify the action. And now ask him why he has failed to respond point by point to what, uh, to what uh, Governor Delica has said, as supplied to him by the Accountant General. The real issue is that, and he, he has failed to mention in his report, 18 billion naira, which Omiti Pina has actually agreed upon. 18 billion naira, and it's a loan. Look at this report, which uh, Mr. Arufa has read out now. You will see that that 18 billion naira uh, is not there. So they are, they, are, they are also clever by half. And the people, are, as, as time goes on, the revelation will be there. All the myth about it, all has not borrowed. People will know that he, he has done a lot of effort to the, to the finance of the state. That's what I can tell you. You can compare those figures and see who is, who is, who is saying the truth. Well, 18 billion naira with the bridge, the bridge financing. With the collected last, Mr. did you reflect in the in the Mr. Ibamiji's uh, report? Check it. Okay, Mr. Oh, Alim, I it. recall that in the uh, statement by uh, uh, Governor Yetola, he referred to a certain three billion, which is federal government intervention on a monthly basis. Maybe it is a loan, sir. Okay, maybe where well, he defined it as federal government intervention. And are you it also a loan? Uh, that notwithstanding. Okay, just hold on. And, and then are you also aware that Shola Fashuri? Spokesperson for Comrade Rauf Aregbeshola, former governor of Oshun State, was quoted in Tribune, and he has not uh, disclaimed that, to say that these were long term concessional loans taken by the Aregbeshola administration. So the Aregbeshola camp has even admitted that they took those loans. Okay, and finally, I think it's excellent news uh, that uh, Governor Deleke is running Oshun State, which is personal money. I, I, I'm sure that will oh, gladden God. the heart of uh, Oshun State people, and he should be encouraged to run government in Oshun State for the four years, which is personal money. That will be a major achievement in governance in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Mr. Abati. Thank you very much, Mr. Abati. Before, before you go, let me, let me thank you. Okay. But uh, Mr. Abati has actually denied the Tribune one. Okay. He said what he said. He, he, told, he told the whole world that the loans that has been liquidated and the one that were obtained by Arek Besola, but others, check what Governor Delica has said, there are others that were not uh, obtained by Arek Besola. And so thank you very much, Governor, Governor Delica, so far, what I told you, was so far up to this moment, has not taken a dime from the post of Oshun State. Oh, okay. And nobody has assessed any cover. Oh, from okay. Support, apart from the salary payments. And real quickly, as we go, I've just fact-checked you. You said you paid all salaries during your time. There was 34 months on paid salary 
that Governor Reg Bershola said he was going to pay four months arrears off. At no, no, Miss Cook. Yeah, it, yeah. it was. We have to go now. Brother, we have to go. During the Dr. Bati, over to you. Quickly, it was during the second time that uh, we have issue of uh, uh, modulated salary, which Governor Yutola himself was part and parcel of. So the, the 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 first time, nothing of such one, and it was a public knowledge. We, we it was acknowledged public knowledge. We need to go now, so Mr. Is, and part of the areas has been paid. We need so to thank you very much. Okay, thank you very so much. Part of the areas. Thank you very much, Mr. Kolapo Alimini.